Today I'm going to make palitaw or glutinous rice ball. But uh, this one is a Filipino dessert. So we normally don't make a flavoring or filling inside. But this time I want to make a filling. So the ingredients are glutinous rice flour. And then we have also water, sugar, peanut, sesame seeds, coconut, and for the fillings, I'm going to use coconut jam, chocolate, peanut butter. This is the first time I'm going to do this, so I hope it tastes good. I'm going to begin with a one cup of the glutinous flour. So, and then we're going to put the water a little bit at the same time to make it uh, the consistency that we want. Now we're going to put water bit by bit this is half cup of water so slowly slowly we want to see the consistency if the water is too much you can add more rice flour I'm now boiling the water and I'm going to put uh, a little bit of oil in the water for later so the balls or the palita will not be sticky, sticking together. So this one now is one cup is to half cup of water. Now I'm going to use my hand to hold it, but I need to put a little bit oil in my hand. So it will not be sticking to my hand. need to put also some oil in the plates that we are going to put the palita or the glutinous uh, bowl. So we're going to roll now the palita. You can make it the shape you want. If you want it elongated or we want it like a ball, it's up to you. I make it a little bit 
longer because I'm going to put some fillings on it. First, I'm going to roll it like this, and then after that, I'm going to put the filling. You can also put flavor like pandan or ube here in this mixture of glutinous flour and water. Later we're going to make it flat and put each one of the filling. But we will never know. I need to set aside which one is which one for the filling, which one is peanut butter or which one is cocoa jam. But it's only for trial so. So now I'm going to put the filling coconut jam inside of this. We need to make a hole inside. We need to press it like that and then put the filling. Depends how much you want. Maybe one teaspoon is good. Yeah. Little bit sticky also. So now I'm going to wrap it. Need to wrap it very good. And then I will just make it long. Or you can make it like a ball also. As long as the filling is really inside that it will not come out. So, it's like this. If you want, you can also make it like a ball. It's like a mochi. Like that also like a ball and the normal palitao is pressed like that that's the normal palitao so the filling is safe inside Very sticky, so you need to put more of the oil in the hand so it will not be sticking too much. So now we're going to put peanut butter. dessert so it's okay to put sweet, too much sweet inside mm -hmm. it's 
so now we can roll it I'm going to make it into a ball so I can know which one is the peanut butter and which one is the coco jam so you can make it into different shape so. and the last is the chocolate flavor don't know maybe we can make it like flat so we know which one is is which here we're going to put also chocolate yes and then we close it like that and on the side so now it's fully covered so you can make it to another shape into another shape like this this is the normal palitao yeah. we continue to make and then we're going to put it in the boiling water so now we're going to put already the palitao in the boiling water one by one and when it's uh, already on top then it's already cooked this is with the chocolate And the peanut butter is with the bowl. So. Peanut butter. Okay, now we can take it out and then wait. Normally we need to roll it already in whatever choices we want. If we want to roll it with a peanut or the sesame seeds normally sesame seeds and the sugar or the sugar and the peanut and also the coconut so we need to make a choice which one is for which one so I'm just going to take it out first by one. 
one. Mm. The shape is not so good. So we can try to roll it with the sugar and the peanut. So we're going to roll now first to the peanut and then to the sugar. And the other one we can try with the sesame seeds and the sugar. So sesame seeds. And then put some sugar. For the coco jam, maybe we also try, we also try with the, since it's coconut, it's better we use the coconut, so coconut and sugar, but it's up to you if you want also to put some coconut there, so roll in the coconut, and then, the sugar this one is with the coconut jam and the balls is with the peanut butter so we can also do the same with the balls We can also roll it here in the peanut, peanut first. Then to the sugar. other one is with the sesame seeds and then with the sugar also this is our palitaw now with all the different kind of fillings inside and different kind of toppings which is the peanut, coconut and sesame seeds plus the sugar so we just waiting for the others to cook the glutinous balls are still here inside it's not yet cooked so going to take it one by one now it's all cooked now the balls the glutinous flour okay so we're going to roll it now to our toppings First to the peanut, the 
then next to the dust jar. Again, then to the sugar. And this one to the sesame seed. And then to the sugar. And the last is in the coconut. And also sugar. It's okay if there is already mixed everything there. In the sugar. It's delicious, whatever is the topping. So, so now it's ready. My palitaw with fillings. So, hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.